Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we'll be tackling question 21 on lead code merge to sorted list. Uh, we are given two uh, list nodes here uh, and our objective here is to combine them into one in an ascending order. So using this example here, we can see that the combined version is 1-1, one, one. 2 comes before 3, so we take 2 and then 3-4-4. Four, four. Uh, yeah, basically that's it. Uh, let's try and solve this. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick optimizer here. Like if L1 is nil and L2 is nil, there's no operation required here, so we can just exit uh, as soon as possible. And since L1 and L2 in Swift as a parameter is a constant, we cannot manipulate them, so we're just gonna convert them into a variable so that we can uh, manipulate it inside this function here and I'm just going to create a dummy node here so that we can build the entire uh, combined uh, linked list under this dummy node so let me just do that Current dummy. so obviously for us to combine L1 and L2 and compare the value of them which one is smaller or bigger we have to iterate uh, L1 and L2 so I'm just going to build a while loop here if L1 is not nil and L2 is not nil we'll just keep uh, running this while loop so to compare them we're just going to compare their value of each node so we're just going to take L1.val uh, L2.val and now with the, we got both the value of the nodes in L1 and L2 respectively. Let's just check if L1 is less than L2 than this else. So in, in the event L1 is less than L2, that's the one that we want to take. Uh, so current.next equals to L1, right? And then we have to advance L1 to the next node. So for example, in this scenario, one uh, if current took 1 already, then L1 has to advance to 2. So this is where this is how 1 goes to 2 using L1.next. And then in the event L2 is less than L1, uh, we'll do the same thing but point it to L2 and also advance L2 to the next. And most importantly, we should not forget to advance our current as well so that this while loop will keep continue building up the uh, linked list. So we cannot forget to move the nodes to the next uh, next uh, node uh, inside the chain. So uh, in this example here, we see L1 and L2 is the same exact length. So uh, they probably would uh, not encounter the scenario where uh, L1 becomes nil but L2 is not nil right because they are the same length so they will probably just run through this entire while loop and they can build this entire uh, combined linked list here but given the scenario where L1 is longer or L2 is longer this there is a possibility where this while loop will exit but we have not traversed the entire uh, L1 list node or L2 list node so we gotta handle that and we'll do that by checking like if L1 is nil uh, if L1 is not nil after this while loop then basically we know that we need to attach it to the current right because that's the remaining portion that we did not traverse same thing as for L2 uh, if L2 is not nil then basically we just need to point it to L2 and then this should be it uh, and then we return dummy.next uh, to get our combined linked list here so let's just try and run this there we go that's the answer here let's try and submit this there we go uh, that's the solution for this question I hope you guys find this useful uh, if you do please feel free to subscribe I'll post more from uh, now on onwards, uh, thanks for your support.